this video is intended to help you learn how to make a calibration curve using Excel. And the idea is that you have an unknown solution and you want to find its concentration. So we have a set of absorbance data and uh, absorbance for the unknown. And the absorbance data are for standards where we've carefully prepared the solutions and we know their concentrations. So I've put these absorbance data in Excel and our first task is to make a graph. So I'm going to say I want to insert a scatter plot. And this looks pretty linear, so that's good news. It's always good practice to add axes labels. So let's add a horizontal and a vertical axis. And our vertical axis is absorbance. And this one is concentration of dye. I've got to insert a symbol because it's micromolar concentration. And then we've got our axes labeled. So let's do a calibration curve. On a PC, I'm going to right click and add a trend line. If you have a Mac, you would do control click on your mouse and do a, add a trend line. So I'll select add trend line and it appears over here. We want to display the equation on the chart and we want to display the correlation coefficient. So we've done that and we've got a nice equation for the line. And that's good, we can use that now because we have the absorbance of the unknown. That's the Y value and concentration and that's the X value. So we can just use this equation to solve for the concentration of the unknown. So I'm going to use the, the equation for the line and solve for X solve for the concentration. So y is the absorbance of the unknown, 0.421. And then I need to, in this case, subtract the y-intercept. And then I've got to divide by the slope. And there's our micromolar concentration of dye in the unknown. And that units are micromolar. Okay, so how can we get additional regression statistics? Besides the equation for the line, can we get something else? And the answer is yes. We can get the error in the slope, we can get the error in the intercept, and uh, we can get the error in y. So the way we do this is using the lin est function in Excel. So you start by making an array where you want the data output to go. It's going to have at least two columns and four rows, and then I'm going to type linest, and it tells me that I need to input the known y's. For us that was absorbance, so I'm going to input those. And now it's saying we need the known x's, so let's put those in. If we want to calculate an intercept, which we do, we're going to type true, and if we want to return all the additional statistics like the errors and the slopes and so forth, we also need to type true. Now it's tempting here to press enter now that we've entered all these parameters, but uh, that won't help. Because this is an ar array in Excel, we have to press and hold control and then next press and hold shift and next while holding control and shift we will press enter. Okay, so we've got our additional statistics here. This is the slope right here, and the error in the slope is below it. Below that is the correlation coefficient. Over to the side is the intercept, the y-intercept. This is the error in y-intercept. And this is the error in any y value. This is the error in the absorbance. This sort of captures how far these points deviate from the best fit line in the y direction. Below this is the degrees of freedom. And over to the side, here's an F ratio. Could describe your data as well. Um, of course, when you turn in a report, it's always good practice to have a chart title. So absorbance of dye solutions, standard dye solutions. 
It's a pretty good one. Versus concentration. Hopefully that's spelled right. Nope. There you go. All right. Good luck.